Hey people, today we are flying from Sudwana in the RV9. We're going to fly past Sudwana and then we're going to fly up the coast towards Lake Shabaya and then we'll fly over that big dune there and um, do a low flight across uh, uh, Lake Shabaya. So on the RV9 I just want to give you some more technical specs and uh, tell you a little bit more about the plane. Yeah, the RV9 is a, is a American two-seater plane with a single motor. It's uh, got a low wing, and it is been sold in kit form by Vans Aircraft of Aurora, or, um, Oregon. And yeah, let me just give you some little bit more specs on that. Um, the length of the aircraft is 20 foot. That's 6.22 meters. The wingspan is 28 foot. That's 8.5 meters. The height is 7 foot 10 inches. So that is 2.39 meters at the highest. The wing area is 124 square foot. So that is 11.5 meters. Uh, the empty weight of this aircraft is uh, 1,028 uh, pounds. That is 466 uh, kilograms. The gross weight is 1,750 pounds, so that's 794 kilograms. The fuel capacity that it can take is 36 US gallons, that, that equals 136 liters. And then the power plant is 120 kilowatt, 160 horsepower. So that's quite strong. Uh, it's got a two blade fixed pitch. Uh, the performance is also very good of this aircraft, it's 197 miles per, per hour, that's 317 kilometers an hour, or 171 knots. The cruising speed is 189 miles per hour, that's 304 kilometers an hour, that's 164 knots. And the stalling speed is 44 miles per hour, 71 kilometers an hour. The range that you can do on this aircraft is 710 miles. Now that is 1140 kilometers. That's also very good. Uh, the surface ceiling is 24,500 feet, 7.5 um, kilometers. And then the rate of climb is 1,400 foot per minute, 7.1 meters per second. And the wing load is 12.9 pounds per square foot. That's uh, 63 kilo, uh, uh, kilograms square. Yeah, so it's quite a capable little aircraft. When we flew down to Sudwana, we used 55 liters of uh, fuel. And uh, yeah, so I think that's a very good fuel consumption. And I just look how beautiful it is from, from the air. Um, seeing Sudwana like this, I did my uh, skipper's license here. In that same bay you can see there at the bottom and um, the sea is very calm now this can this can get really rough and when you do your skipper's license you normally get it with rough weather i don't know why it always works like that but i wish we had conditions like this um, i did my skipper's license with the hot from uh, from sudwana 
and I think he's one of the best instructors when it comes to Pepsi um, licenses for, for your skippers. Yeah, what a beautiful view, what a beautiful day. It's a little bit hazy. I think there's some felt fires somewhere and all the smoke blew down here. When you're on the ground, you don't really see it, but once you get in the air, then you can see the, the, um, the, the smoke in the, in the air. And we're going to turn north now, so that we can fly up the coast. And then, once we get to Lake Shabaya, we will fly inland and then drop down so that we can do a low flight uh, across the lake. Now Lake Shabaya is the largest freshwater lake in South Africa. It's got a surface area of 77 square kilometers with an average depth of 13 meters. On the deepest it will be four, uh, 40 meters. And uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of game in, in, in uh, Lake Shabaya as well. Like um, there's hippos, there's a lot of crocodiles. Other game that you'll be able to see there is zebra, nyala, Reedback, Impala, Ach and all the other um, smaller back species you'll also get there. Um, for the bird lovers, there will be a lot of birds that you can see there. There's 279 different species that you can see there. And when they say there's also um, flocks of water, um, uh, waterfowl of up to 20,000 that, that can be seen as well so yeah while we were doing our low flying I'll be <laughs> I'll be watching if I could see if, if, any birds because that's the one thing you don't want is a bird strike and um, yeah so I mean for the guys overseas in Canada and Alaska this figures will be very um, <laughs> you'll laugh at 77 square kilometers but I mean, this in South Africa, that's the biggest um, freshwater lake. And yeah, so this is going to be quite a, a nice sightseeing. So guys, let's see what we can see. And um, enjoy the flight with us.
guys thank you for tuning in again on my channel um, thank you for all the views and the likes and the subscriptions I'll do uh, my next clip is where we're gonna fly from Sudwana back to Tabazimbi and uh, yeah I can't wait for that as well uh, it will be a nice flip in this aircraft this aircraft has got a um, glass canopy and so the view out of this plane is excellent and you can also have curtains that you just pull across the, the, the top of the canopy so that the sun don't bake you uh, or you don't get sunburned inside the aircraft.